subscribe click on the bell like comment share we have just seen that we could not confirm whether aluminium 3 or lead 2 ions are present in test tube B. Thus, we need to do some other tests to confirm the ions present. To learn some of the confirmatory tests, click on each box. Use a dropper to add about 1 cubic centimeter of potassium iodide solution into a test tube containing lead 2 ions. Add about 3 cubic centimeter of distilled water. Boil the mixture. Cool the mixture using running water from the tap. There are two methods to confirm the presence of ammonium ions. The first method is as follows. Pour about 4 cubic centimeter of dilute sodium hydroxide solution into test tube with a solution containing ammonium ions. Heat the mixture and test the gas released with a moist red litmus paper. What gas do you think is produced? The second method is as follows. To a solution containing ammonium ions, a few drops of Nestle's reagent is added. Use a dropper to add a few drops of potassium hexacyanoferrate 2 solution into a test tube containing iron 2 ions. Use a dropper to add a few drops of potassium hexacyanoferrate 3 solution into a test tube containing iron 2 ions. Use a dropper to add a few drops of potassium hexacyanoferrate 2 solution into a test tube containing iron 3 ions. Use a dropper to add a few drops of potassium hexacyanoferrate 3 solution into a test tube containing iron 3 ions. In this lesson, we have learned that the presence of cations can be detected by using sodium hydroxide solution and ammonia solution. The table summarizes the reaction between cations with sodium hydroxide and ammonia solution. Besides using these two solutions, there are also special tests to confirm the presence of certain cations. Some confirmatory tests may need special chemicals such as Nestle's reagent, potassium hexocyanoferrate 2, and potassium hexocyanoferrate 3 potassium thiocyanate, while others make use of common chemicals such as potassium iodide and sodium hydroxide solutions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe.